Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg. Today we're going to take a look at the Phosphor Watches World Time Edition. Phosphor watches are watches that utilize e-ink technology. If you're not familiar with e-ink, e-ink is what's most commonly found in e-readers, such as the Amazon Kindle, the Barnes & Noble Nook, and if you've ever picked up one of those e-readers, you've probably recognized how easy it is to read the text. And that's why Phosphor Watches decided to make watches using the same technology. Because if it's easy to read text in an ebook, imagine how much easier it is to read text on a watch. So this World Time Edition features the time in 24 different cities. It's 9.3 millimeters thin, and it allows you to actually simultaneously view the time in two different cities at the same time. It features five different display modes, or five different faces, and the version they sent me comes in a polyurethane strap and retails for $150. So this is the box it comes in. It's kind of a padded top. When you open it up, the inside is lined with felt, features this pocket on the back that includes an instruction manual. You need the instruction manual to obviously set the watch, not only the time and the date, but you also have to set your home city. It uses the home city to then set the watch in the 24 other cities around the world. So let's take a look at the watch itself. And the one they sent me is with a polyurethane band. This same watch is also available in two other styles. One comes with a leather band and the other a stainless steel band. So it starts at $150 for the polyurethane, a little bit more for the leather, and then just a little bit more for the all stainless version. So right now I'm on the big time face as I like to call it, and you can see that that just shows me the time in my local city, 3.31 p.m. This large button on the front that looks like one button is actually two, split into two different sides. The button on the right is what advances me through the different displays. So if I press it once, see the screen refreshes just like any e-reader does, and I'm now on the small time screen. If I press it again, now I'm in world time mode, and it's now showing me the time in Los Angeles, which is three hours behind me, 1231. And if I use the other side of the button, I can scroll through the other 23 cities all around the world. Now these are all predetermined. I'm not gonna recognize every one. There you can see the time in Denver, Colorado, Chicago, Illinois, New York, New York, and I can continue through, again, there's 24 different cities all around the world, and you can see the time in any one of those cities just by pressing that button. If I go back to the button on the right and press again, I'm now in the dual time mode, and this is where you can see two cities at once. So you can preset this in the watch setting uh, for the secondary time zone you wanna see. Right now I have it set to see the time in Los Angeles, so it's showing me that that time is 12.30. In the middle, you can see in military time is my local time. 1532 or 332. So let's say I do a lot of traveling to Los Angeles. When I land in Los Angeles, I might take the watch and flip it to this screen. That way I'm seeing the local time in Los Angeles, but in the, you know, in the middle, in a short glance, I can see the time back home as well. So that's very useful. If I flip it one more time, now at the time plus date screen. This shows me the date in large format. You can see that it's Tuesday, 12, 07, that's December 7th, and then the time in the middle again is in military time, 1533. If I advance it one more time, I'm now back to what I call the big time screen. This is the screen I find myself wearing the watch at most often. One of the nice features about it right now, I'm using the screen that has black text on the white background. On any screen at any time, if I hold down the left button, you'll see the screen refresh. And now it switches to all black background with white text. You know, completely up to you, personal preference, what you use, what you like, but that will retain itself through the entire watch. And now whatever screen I go to will show the black background with the white text. Personally, again, just personal preference. I find myself using the lighter background with the darker text most often. I just think that looks best. As far as the band goes, I have pretty big wrists and I have no problem wearing this. I still have enough room to fit the watch band through the keeper at the end. It features a nice stainless steel buckle that has kind of two holes for the buckle to clip onto. And uh, it presents a really nice fit. It's nice and ergonomically curved, so it kind of molds to your wrist, as you can see. Very thin, super comfortable to wear. This watch is water resistant to 50 meters, you can see on the back. 
So I don't normally swim with my watches and I don't know that I'd recommend doing so with this, but you can get it wet. And uh, according to this, you can swim with it probably in the pool, um, shower, but always best probably to remove it. Personally, I think, um, you know, there's no reason to swim with your watch. You can wear it and you can get wet in the rain and things like that when you're washing your hands and you don't have to worry about it becoming damaged. But I would always take watches off when I swim, unless you have a diver's watch or something like that. The only knock about these e-ink watches is they are absolutely impossible to view in the dark. There's no light, you can't see them in the dark. If you're in the movies or it's late at night and you don't have any light nearby, you won't be able to uh, tell the time. So that's probably the only negative when it comes to these watches. Personally, I think they look absolutely awesome. They're super crystal clear to read. And uh, you know the, the different models that they have, again, this one's the world time. They have one that doesn't have the world time but just shows the hour. That one's a little bit smaller um, uh, you know, for the case size, like that one as well. So Phosphor Watch is available directly from the Phosphor Watches website. I'll put a link in the video description. If you have any questions about these watches, please feel free to drop me a line. Otherwise, you have a great day.